Hi guys, welcome to my Skywish Dish channel. This is Robin. How's everybody doing this morning? It's a beautiful day in Charleston, South Carolina. Grab yourself something nice to drink. Sit back and relax. We're going to continue Jewelry Jar 242. If you see anything in this jar you'd like, all you have to do is leave a comment under the comment section of the video. Um, I apologize. With the... Uh, your i'm sorry leave a comment under the vi video with the timestamp description and price of the item that you want to choose if you're new to the channel welcome if you're um returning to the channel welcome back if you're new to the channel you need to register at, at my skywatch2 at gmail.com after you make your comments so that i can process your comments um with that information of your shipping address, your YouTube name, and your full name, first and last, in case it's different than your YouTube name, so I can connect the two. We ship only in the U.S. Shipping is a flat rate of uh, $5 for under a pound of jewelry. You have all month to order. We, we um, process invoice on the first of the month for the prior month's order. So right now, the orders in May will be invoiced June the 1st. And if your items weigh over a pound, a pound or over, they go priority. So it's 8.30 and up. So depending on how much and what size box and all that good stuff. <sighs> so anyway, let's get started. Enough of that. I'm going to start out simple this morning. With uh, these two little bangle bracelets. They have a gold undertone with the black and gold beads. And they are magnetic because they're sticking to my watch there. We'll do those for a dollar. And I need to get my bags out. I apologize. I never can seem to remember to get my bags out. So I can bag the items. So I hope everybody's having a good day. And a good week. We're still... Um, my granddaughter's still here with us, so she's at school right now, so I thought I'd do a video real quick. Now, the next item we have is, um, I'm going to show you some of these necklaces on the bust here. I still have one Heidi, Dice, Heidi Doss uh, necklace to show you. We have this one. That is the Heidi Doss necklace. And this one, and this one, and then we have all these bracelets, a lot of stuff here to show, and we have um, this also. So, I wanted to show you this one. I thought it was beautiful. It's got matching earrings to it. And as you guess, may have guessed, this is a paparazzi piece, and it's absolutely beautiful. I would have no problem wearing this. Nice chain on this, got nice weight. Those are gorgeous. This is still on its tag. It's brand new. And these usually go for five dollars. And I'm going to do this one for three. And they're brand new in the bag. And guess what? I also have the bag. There's your paparazzi bag. Okay. The next item I have is Pretty necklace, statement type, beautiful green, light green, lobster claw class, extender with the bead. There is some wear on this chain here. I'm not sure about the light. Is the light good? Could it be better? 
Let's see if I can make it better. Maybe that's a little better. Well, no, it went back. I can't um, seem to make it stay that bright. I'm not sure how to do it, y'all. Let's see. Maybe lock it? Nope. Anyway, I want you to be able to see there was some wear on the chain. At the upper part around the neck. But other than that, this is a beautiful necklace. Let me show it to you on the... Uh, well, I don't have one that's vacant that would hold that. There you go. We'll do this one for uh, $2.00. Since we do have a little bit of wear. But it's only in the upper part of the neck here. Okay, two dollars. I guess I haven't figured out my lighting yet. I, I do try. Let's see if this helps. See, that ring light doesn't seem to do anything. How about that? And then this is another little light. Seems to kind of glare off of this. So I don't know. Let's see if that works out. We have this memory wire bracelet here with these beautiful peacock colored seed beads. You have that and you have gold beads, red beads. Has this uh, cute little conglomeration of beads here. Very colorful, we'll do that for two. Let's do this Heidi Doss necklace. It's beautiful. This is a crystal. Isn't that gorgeous? She actually uses uh, Swarovski crystals in her work as well as real stones. This is enamel. The enameling on this is beautiful. Here's the back. It is marked. Beautiful coral colored chain with that turquoise. It's beautiful. End caps with the... Uh, Crystals in that. Here's your clasp. I don't know if it says Hottie Doss on that or not. I don't see anything. And here's the bead. This is definitely very pretty. And we'll do that one for $50. And the length on it is... 20 inches and that's where it's buckled right here just beautiful work she does beautiful work high-end designer uses beautiful material too Next one is another rhinestone. And every time I start get, getting it twisted around, 
<laughs> oh boy. There we go. That's beautiful. Gold tone chain. There's nowhere on the chain. Lobster tall clasp. Here is your. As the chain moves, sometimes that moves. Beautiful condition. Very sparkly. We'll do that for three. And cheers. Jen Jen, cheers. Next thing is just adorable. It's a 1928 little stick pen. Porcelain. Little girl with her doll. Isn't that adorable? We'll do that for five. 1928. Jewelry Company. Not for resale, girls. I don't know what that's. That's a special or what, but going to do it for five. I just love that. She is adorable. I got a little wooden flower pen. And that's going to be a freebie. It's a Hallmark. That's free, anybody who wants it. And next, I have a really nice chain and glass beads, bicones, in a green color. They have an Aurora Borealis uh, coating on them. Very beautiful. There's the chain. The chain is in excellent condition. And it's got a lobster claw class and extender, but I believe those were added because they're of a different color, more um, copperish color or brass, not brassy, I would say, but more copperish in color with a silver tone uh, lobster claw class. You could take this apart and make two separate necklaces if you wanted, or you could leave it just like it is. We'll do that for two. The next we have is this beautiful cuff, polka dots. bracelet black and white polka dots i just love it very classic we'll do that for five and this part is two and a half inches it's in excellent condition No, not, no rubbing on these white polka dots. They're in very good condition. Very cute. Okay. 
next piece I have is, I'm not sure. <laughs> Looks kind of funky to me. Here's the back. On this, uh, um, like, silicone cord. Lobster claw clasp. A dollar. I have a man's watch. Carriage, I think. Not sure. It's got a beautiful blue uh, facing on it. It's got your seconds here and then your hours. And it's this kind of buckle. Do I know how to open it up? There we go. Yeah, car carriage. Stainless steel. That's the information on the back. It's a Timex. Timex. And it has something else on there. Oh, it says M5. Carriage by Timex. Uh, the SR626SW cell. I guess that's the battery. WR30 meters. Stainless steel back. And we'll do this one for 15. It's a Timex. Needs a battery. branded and it's made by time, uh, Timex. We have some inlay bracelets here. I believe this is uh, like mother of pearl shell and the center one I believe is bone. I could be wrong. It could be shell also. We'll do the three of those for two. Those are great to stack if you have thicker ones or other thinner ones together. You can add two more to your collection. I mean, three more to your collection for $2. The next one we have is another boho type with hematite with the sun. And these um, long barrel with the barrel clasp. And you have wooden hematite. Here's the back. I believe this is some kind of clay or resin. We'll do this one for two. Beautiful beaded necklace. I love this. This is gorgeous. This is a waxed uh, braided rope on this. Just goes over the head. And this is your pendant. Is that not gorgeous? And the rope is in the colors of the pendant. Very clean, like it's never been worn very long. Let me give you a measurement. It is 35 inches. And we'll do this beauty for $4. It's beautiful. Beadwork on that is beautiful. I figure out where all my bags are because these are all either big or small. So 
Who knows? Four dollars. I love that. Love the colors too. It's got the royal blue, the orange, and the gold. Four dollars. Here's some landscape jasper or picture jasper stone bracelet. Do that for three. These bracelets here would be very pretty if you added a, a, a sterling or 14 karat charm onto it. In fact, you could charm it all the way around if you wanted to. I don't know how many people do that, but you do find them with charms sometimes, and I would definitely consider doing that. The beaded charm bracelet. We have this woven. It is a uh, Coco Bell. Looks like you have a stone here in the center of this. Very nice, um, again, like waxed, braided, or not so much braided, but wax material. Has a very nice feel to it. And then these brass beads on the edges. And here is the Coco Bell. Here's the clasp. You can see there is a stone here in the center. And that's where it clasps. We do that one for three. another bracelet here it needs a little cleaning on the inside I believe it's a Monet I thought I saw Monet in this it's not magnetic I believe it's gold over copper all right where did I see something on this Well, I don't know. A beautiful diamond cut, diamond cutting on this. Now, right here, this is just um, dirt that needed to come off. So there is no um, wear on this really. Let me loop it. Maybe this is not the Monet. Maybe we need to test this one. Yeah, it's not magnetic. Let's test it. I'm going to do several rubs. I think I see copper. It's gold over copper, I believe. And that's why it's not magnetic, but none of the uh, copper is showing through. Oh, why is that? That's 18. We want to start out with 10 carat. Because I'm testing it for gold. And if it disappears, then we'll stop there. It's taking it, yeah, yeah, it's slowly, very slowly disappearing. 
and now it's finally gone. Let's see how quick it, the 14 carat disappears. Definitely got, oh yeah, immediately. So it's definitely got some gold. It's probably either gold, uh, um, I would say maybe gold electroplated or gold something because it's not worn anywhere. It's a very pretty bracelet. We'll do it for three. It's good, good metal. Copper and gold are both very good metals, so three dollars. And let me um change out my turn off my thing so I don't burn myself with acid. Okay. All right. The next one we have is this beautiful necklace. It's got a lobster claw clasp with a extender on a bead, a very long extender. And it's this beautiful vine with rhinestones and some of the rhinestones. Oh gosh, did I get acid on me? Something's burning. I don't know, maybe some of it is uh, abalone and some of it's golden color or green. You have these green caps here and that's golden with the abalone in the center. All of them are there. This is absolutely beautiful. And we'll do that one, four, five. Very pretty. Very good condition. All your stones are there. Five dollars. That's very pretty. Next gold tone bracelet we have, maybe this, yeah, this one's the Monet one. Right here. Come on, show up. I need to clean it. I don't know if y'all can see that. Let me loop it. No, it's not Monet. It's 925. Huh. 92, so it's gold over 925. I'm sure I had a Monet bracelet out. Oh, my watch is making my skin itch. I have to wear a rubber band, a rubber band, a band-aid under my watch or it breaks me out. And I forgot to do that, so let's test it. We have to get through the... Oh, yeah. It's definitely silver. Where's the 18 carat? And you're going to see it fluoresce bright blue. See, that tells you it's 925. That's a nice weight on that, too. It's also got the uh, cutting on it. Diamond cutting. We'll do that one for 15. Let me get this. Let me take my watch off because it's bothering me. Oh, yeah. It's already breaking out. Let me clean off this thing again. Okay. Got it. By 
George. Again, the bracelet's 15, and the size on that is two and a half. Okay, the next thing we have is this. It's, this is stretchy, and this is just hanging down. I'm not sure what that's all about, so I'm going to put that in the Hobby Lot. The Hobby Lot's been claimed by Carol. We're still working on it. Next piece I have is this on a long chain with a, a lobster claw and extender, but it's got wear on it. I'm going to put that in the Hobby Lot. Next piece I have is like a dream catcher. That design is very cool. These are glass beads. You have a um, like a brushed leather like. I'm not sure it's leather. I can't tell the difference. Tell you the truth. On a nice long cord that goes down there like that. It's got an extender. It is a, I think it says, oh, I don't know what it says. Let's see if y'all can read it. If you could see it. Lights, please. Yeesh. Let me, let me. Let me loop it. Sweet. It says Sweet 7. I've not heard of the brand. But it's a very cute necklace. We'll do that for three. Very pretty. Okay, let me show you the necklaces on the bust again. Here we go. We have that beautiful red, the butterfly, the flower with the red stone in the middle, I believe it's magnesite, and then the beaded necklace. And these are the bracelets we still have left. And probably more. So we'll start off with this little beaded necklace. It's got an extender with the bead. You can add, I don't know if these are glass or stone. I'm going to say glass. Now what's that? Something's glued onto it. Yeah, something's stuck to it. I can't get it off. Okay, there's something stuck to it and I can't get it off. So I'm just going to put that in the Hobby Lot. Okay, this one is red. Very pretty geometric type design. Has a little Art Deco with the curve there. Lobster claw clasp. This necklace is... About 17 inches. We'll do this one for three. Very pretty.
No scratches on that or anything. It looks brand new. Okay, the next one we'll do is this pretty little butterfly with the calves in there, those pink calves and rhinestones in the center and then on the wings, and they're all there. Here's the back. It's in excellent condition. This is a beautiful chain. You could use it for other... Um, you can take it off and use it for other uh, pendants, too. Nice extender. It's a good length. I'm going to measure it for you. I can find my measuring stick. Went way down yonder. Okay, it's not fully extended. It's maybe got a half inch extender left on it. It's 24 inches as as it is connected here. Again, you can see there's about a half inch. We'll do that for four. Very pretty. Nice chain on that too. That's a, bit, a bargain. Four. This little choker here and I'm going to give that away free if anybody wants it. it's got little pink beads on it silver tone clasp lobster claw the next one is the flower necklace with the magnesite stone here's the back Got a nice long chain, pretty heavy chain. Lobster claw class extender. I believe, I truly believe this is a uh, paparazzi. And we'll do it for three. And it's got little rhinestones on the petal here, all the way around, and they're all there. And the length on this necklace is this is without the extension on it is 36 inches and then you have a three inch extender so it will go all the way to 39 and we're going to do it for three dollars and it's in very good condition Okay, the next one is a beautiful cubed glass. This is sterling. I've already tested it. And then you have these rondelles with rhinestones in them. And they're all there. This is a beautiful bracelet. We'll do that for 10 five and crystal where's my hex oh one two five clasp ten dollars. The next is a um, is a lot. This is your maker, and this is the maker's uh, signature bracelet here. If you recognize it, bourbon and bow ties is the brand. These are made to be worn stacked, and they're all tagged with the little bourbons and bow tag 
signatures. So you wear them stacked. Oh, I had that in the center, didn't I? This one I don't think was. Yeah, this one didn't have any tag on it. So I don't know. I'm going to put it with it, but it's not a bourbon and bow tag as far as I know. But um, this one's got the druzies. And the way you wear it is you stack it. They are made to be worn stacked. And that's the way it is. Bourbon and bow ties. And then we'll just add this one here. And you'll get all five for 20. These are very pretty. These are all glass, crystal. Beautiful AB color there. Just lovely. Here's the um, signature bracelet of bourbon and bow ties. Very cool. This one is stone. Beautiful. I can't test it because my Presidian broke. And then this one are Druzies. I just can't stand it. You can't really see. Or it's just me, I don't know. So that's $20. Very nice. Very nice lot. I should have collected these. They're very unique. Unusual piece, pearls and red caps, and it hooks onto something. It's got a hook. I think it's Indian jewelry, like a celebration type, like wedding or something. And we'll do this for five. I could use it in a uh, a journal. A Christmas journal. That'd be pretty in a Christmas journal with the red and the green and the pearl. If it doesn't sell, I'll take it out. Put it in my stash for journals. Okay. Here's some little kid freebie pieces. That says Dabby. Little hearts, freebies, everybody wants them. Next I have is a beautiful sparkly pendant and missing tons and tons of stones on a nice long silver tone chain. And that's going in the hobby lot. necklace I have is done on this beaded chain with a lobster claw clasp and extender. It says mom with the pearl. And this is curved. It looks like it has the number six almost, but it's not. Oh, it's just the way it's made. Very pretty. We'll do that for two. Very sweet. That would be nice 
nice in a journal dedicated to mom, too. Two. This is going to be our last piece. This is our finale piece. I'll be back with more. Very pretty. They are uh, little caps. I don't know if they're stone or if that is enameled in there. Very pretty. Lobster Claw Class extender with the bead. I'll give you a measurement. Let me fully extend it first. And I can probably do it on this one. It's going to be 18 inches fully extended. We'll do that one for three. Very pretty the way it's uh, done together. And it's an understated bib, I would call it, almost. The way it's um, not missing anything, any of its dangles. But the way it's made, it's very pretty. Three dollars. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. There'll be more coming. And... Um, Hit that subscribe and notification bell if you'd like to know when we put up another video. You have all month of the May to order. You can go back and look at the other videos that are not sold out. And see if you have anything in there you'd like. And uh, share this video with your friends who like jewelry. Thank you for spending your time with me today. I hope you all have a blessed day. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye now.